हेलो टीचर्स वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द काइंड्स ऑफ वर्ब हेल्पिंग वर्ब एंड मेन वर्ब सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अनदर काइंड ऑफ वर्ब ट्रांसटिव वर्ब एंड इन ट्रांसटिव वर्ब Now look at these sentences and repeat after me. Radhika kicks the ball. Raghav sleeps. Now tell me what is the difference between these sentences? Yes in the first sentence the verb kick requires an object while the verb sleep does not require an object in the next sentence it is so because without taking an object the verb kick cannot make a complete meaning while the verb sleep expresses a complete sense independently here we can classify the verb kick or sleep as transitive verb and intransitive verb respectively we can understand transitive and intransitive verb something like this the verb that demands an object to act upon is called a transitive verb and the verb that expresses a complete meaning without an object is called intransitive verb we can easily understand the transitive verb by the word transfer that means to transfer the action upon the object for example the boy washed the hands here we can see that the object of this sentence is hands upon which the action is to be done let us know this too in hindi we can recognize transitive verb as sakarma kriya means a verb with an object and intransitive verb as akarma kriya means a verb without an object for example ragni plays a flute here in the first sentence the verb play is used with an object so it is a transitive verb while in the second sentence the verb work is used without an object so it is an intransitive verb now let's have a look at these sentences in list a and list b and repeat after me we will start with the list a i serve the poor Hina kills a snake. The girl posted a letter. The child drinks the milk. Here we can see in the list A that all the verbs used in these sentences as serve, kill, post. or drink take an object to be acted upon or we can say that 
all these verbs are used with an object so these verbs are transitive verbs now come to the list b and please repeat after me i walk daily it rained last night the flowers grew beside my gate the baby cried here we can see in the list b that the verbs used in these sentences as walk rain grow or cry are used without an object so these verbs are intransitive verbs teachers we should know this too that some verbs can be classified both transitively and intransitively let us see some examples of the verbs used transitively and intransitively firstly we will see the verbs used transitively as my mother left me alone aarti rings the bell the ant fought the wasp the driver stopped the car now let us see the same verbs used intransitively i left for station the bell rings the ant fought fiercely the car stopped suddenly here we can see that the verbs as leave stop ring or fight are being used transitively and intransitively both please pay your attention at this important note some verbs for example come go fall die sleep lie etc show actions but cannot be done to anything so they can never be used transitively now let's proceed to the next point teachers sometimes we make mistakes in using an intransitive verb as a transitive verb for example the teacher described about the constitution of india in this sentence we can see that the verb describe is followed by a preposition while in actual the verb describe should be followed by a direct object so the correct sentence will be the teacher described the constitution of india we can see some more sentences like this that have an error in use of verb please repeat after me the correct sentences we discussed about covid 19 incorrect sentence we discussed covid 19 correct sentence my elder sister ordered for a glass of water incorrect sentence 
my elder sister ordered a glass of water correct sentence he told to me the truth incorrect sentence he told me the truth correct sentence an old woman requested for a help incorrect sentence an old woman requested a help correct sentence here in this sentences we can see that the verbs discuss order tell request or describe are always followed by a direct object today we have learnt about transitive verb and intransitive verb and their common usage we will further go with the topic verb agreement with the subject in the next module thank you